Hi everyone. Thank you for your support. We couldn't have reached our milestones without you. This means more lives impacted and more that we can do for the years to come. So thank you. Getting into a new relationship is a big step and it's important to make sure that you are emotionally ready. Perhaps you're recovering from a past relationship or you're still single and wonder if you'll ever get into a relationship. Here are seven signs that you will be in a relationship soon. One, you're not desperately searching for someone. If you feel like you need a relationship to be happy, then you're not satisfied with just being you. Being independent is a very powerful trait and being dependent on having a partner in your life can lead you to avoid dealing with your own issues. Sometimes we're only ready for relationships when we've done some work on improving ourselves and learning to be more self-sufficient. Two, you're over your last relationship or crush. This is an obvious point, but we should point it out anyway. If you're not over your last relationship, jumping into a new one before you're ready might not be the best choice. For one thing, your new partner won't appreciate being with someone who's thinking about their ex or somebody else all the time. Secondly, getting over your last relationship is an important process that helps you grow as a person. Rush that process, and you might end up using your new partner as a rebound. It's not okay. Three, you're ready to let your guard down. Relationships are all about letting go, expressing your deepest emotions and letting your guard down. If you're still putting up walls, you might find it very hard to connect with others on an emotional level. Four, you're ready to adapt and grow. Like it or not, being in a serious relationship changes who we are as a person. When we let our guard down around our partners, we allow them to make a deep impact on our persona and how we view the world. You'll never be the same person after a serious relationship. So you need to be prepared for the changes that will come. A relationship also requires you to adapt and compromise as you cooperate with your partner in a healthy relationship. Five, you've dealt with most of your inner demons. We all have inner demons. And there's no shame in that. After all, we are people of the past. When we fully understand and cope with our inner demons, we become stronger and more mature. This helps us understand life better. Six, you don't have the need to control others. Unfortunately, many people get into new relationships because they relish the opportunity to control others. We've mentioned narcissistic personality disorder and other similar problems on this channel before, and this thought pattern can result in seriously unhealthy relationships. Ask yourself whether you want to emotionally connect and grow with another person, or whether you view a potential partner as a status symbol or material possession. Seven, you don't want to save or rescue your new partner. Have you ever gotten into a relationship because you felt like you could help someone? Deep down, did you think you could rescue them and help them achieve a better life? While this mindset might seem noble and benevolent, experts believe that it could also be quite unhealthy. In taking this approach, you're letting the relationship mimic the connection between a dysfunctional parent and a child. As loving the relationship might seem, it might not feel like a genuine connection between two equal adults. Are you thinking about getting into a new relationship? Can you recognize any of these traits in yourself? How do you know whether you're ready for a new relationship? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Share this video with others as a way of giving back and building this community of psychology enthusiasts together. Don't forget to subscribe for more psychology content, and as always, thanks for watching.